listen, listen, by popular demand, okay? Y'all have put me in the metaphorical internet cyber web stranglehold and said holla if you don't react to this russian badger fallout new vegas content we're gonna find you all right and i've been walking around outside looking to see who is trying to attack me because i know y'all are coming so with all of that you know what i'm saying anxiousness that i have been walking in the world with i have decided to give the people what they have been asking for Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100k holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, holla squad? We are her. The little squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we're about to find out about an unstoppable moron makes nuclear wasteland noticeably worse. Boy, that's a title right there. I ain't gonna lie. But this is Fallout New Vegas. Fallout is a game I have never heard of before. Yes. Go ahead. Bring in the hate comments. You know what I'm saying? Holla how you ain't heard of Fallout New Vegas. You ain't even, I ain't even heard of Fallout, period. Okay? So, I'm here to be exposed. Now, I'm, listen, I told y'all in my last vid. I'm about to start running Left 4 Dead 2. If you want to play, all you got to do is join the Discord down below. If Fallout New Vegas is a multiplayer game that we can play together and I like it, guess what else we going to do? We going to play this. But before we hop into this, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, let's get it. I got a girl. She looked just fine. Bring me whiskey and wine. Every single morning and dinner and night. Everything she do, she do just right. But when I say what you want me to do, she say it's just one thing that I want from you. A little bit of rock. Yo, how, how did my, my, my man's legs explode? He got shot in the head. His ankles went flying. Ain't no way. A little bit of rock. That's crazy. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> spoiler warning. New Vegas has an incredible story and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers. So consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you- Fuck the NCO! <laughs> Is that a gun? Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you say, That's Vegas, baby. Have you ever seen a man <laughs> use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? No. That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody just so you could take a one-hour nap in their filthy cock? My man That's needs Vegas, buckle. baby. You ever All seen right, someone buckle. covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and survive? We can't expect God to do all the work. Jesus fucking Christ. That's Vegas, baby. But enough <laughs> of the empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. All in Vegas like, is the story uh, of- He looked like- Metal Gear, riding. He looked like riding under that rap, all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a game player, too. Don't worry. A courier <laughs> delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Fortunately, Terrible. a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats come first in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from 1 to 10. You got 10 a- Hold on. Special stats- all right, I never seen charisma before. I never seen perception. All right, I was about to say, is this what the special stats mean in every game? Because I always seen luck, agility, intelligence. I seen strength, obviously. Final Fantasy player, you know what I'm saying? And I was about to be like, bruh, did they make an acronym for special? But maybe not. Maybe this. I don't know. That's crazy though. That's come first in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from one to ten. You got okay. ten agility? That makes you the deadliest gunslinger this side of the Mississippi. 
Ooh. You got one His charisma? legs are exploding. Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking ape, I said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and went straight Typical up Lord Death of boy. Murder Mountain. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, and 10 luck. God, what the fuck is this bitch? All right, let's take the obvious. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' bigger cousin Strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two-headed <laughs> coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to overthrow a small government. Are you like the sight of your own blood? I don't know, do you? <laughs> <laughs> However, it also means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me Vegetable. dumber than a fucking brick is perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation well good luck with that again lord death of murder mountain which means specking guns sneak and explosives so i can exterminate any life form i come into contact with from Ain't the no tiniest way. praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang take this you stupid fucking bug <laughs> You can really kill Pray a Mantis in the game? <laughs> Special points and skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something pragmatic like Built to Destroy, which gives you a higher critical hit chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang, bang, Had enough. bang, bang. His arms fell off, but on the... What is this game, bro? My man shot him in the head four times. And his arms detached at the elbows. <laughs> the other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some dicey drugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. <laughs> Have at it, you stupid son of a bitch. Take drugs, kill a bear. Uh, what? What? Shoot that There's thing, boy. There's an actual boy. flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even hitting the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. <laughs> Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that is the next big one you got to learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. That's me. Ow. The Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking love VATS because it allows you to freeze time Dio style and choose exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting your target. Watch this center math. Boy, they did not just put a graphic of John F. Kennedy. <laughs> oh man, that's 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 tough. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just pass things away like you would in any other shooter. Mm. Haunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise <laughs> shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh shit, that hurts. How is you this can possible? select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. So. It's not perfect because even if you're you extremely the close money to a target they with near perfect <laughs> accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally vibe check the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. I guess we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> Oh, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. Oh, shit. That's okay. That's tough. <laughs> I didn't bounce. Oh, oh shit! Everybody's away now. I'm not gonna die now. There's no way, bro. I'm so dead. Oh god. I even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like vats, beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake up, Frank. 
Wake up, Frank. <laughs> but if you sleep in a bed, even for just an hour, you regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs are magically fixed. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring -a -ding -ding, ah, boy. Baby. Ooh, that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. Because I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize <laughs> there was an open bed right next to them. I just want to take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. With those basics covered, it's time to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny yes, and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf, I'm glossing over a ton of stuff and probably <laughs> leaving some important shit out. So remember that my advice is meaningless and time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't have the time. By which I mean... You don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust absolutely no one because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant dinosaur? Well, she mm. just sold someone's wife into slavery. Wow, Jeannie Mae, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a <laughs> thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly Terrible. offer value to you is a wonderful policy because as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream because robbing a corpse is a- I ain't gonna lie. This, uh, this being, um, located in Las Vegas, I think, right? It has to be Las Vegas. Um, it's very fitting because if the world ever went to, to garbage, all right, those last three sentences my man just said, that's gonna be all of America, bro. It's, it's going to break out. <laughs> we are going to implode. All right, in the nuclear fallout because of the mentality, right? It's, it's going to happen. experience it's than bartering with a living being, and who knows? You might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. <laughs> Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. Downside here, everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts. Oh man, do people ever think you're an abomination. So interacting with the various tribes of the Mojave is significantly more painful. The NCR Tough. has declared you a terrorist. Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, you will be shot on sight. It's That's about crazy. fucking time, fellas. I'll get to these various tribes in due time. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Be good, be evil, kill nobody, kill everybody. I don't give a shit, make up your own destiny. Hear that? We have options. My destiny was to confront Benny at the Topps Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous uh, weapons, yeah, yeah. so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You're Right. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? Okay. I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, Fla, welcome to the top set town casino. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> Sure, I got here none. you go. <laughs> Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter pistols, three 9 millimeter pistols, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious Magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is How broken. I'm gonna repair all this, by the way. Don't have any in, this right? allows you to kill Benny <laughs> any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me, still breathing. What? In the goddamn blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite. Hell, you can even let That's him tough. flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving. Now you're talking. That is the ring a ding move, baby. <laughs> yeah, you better believe that Benny starts sweating when you hit the F5 key. Some of the slaves are spreading still. The truth is, the game was raped from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit him a few more times, just so he doesn't come back like I did. Did I really just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? You're damn right. A fair kill. With a tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? Mechanics you are sick, broken, boy. vindictive fuck. Happy now, you twisted bum? I still feel like tire iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, ooh baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm okay. not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you like. The truth is, Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit that I primarily use to get discounts at gun runners. This robot is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit. I'm talking about that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open. And I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the I fuck am, do you I think, am. asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip. And why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property. Centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine! Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching. Two centuries. How is this man this old, bro? How? Is this man Kang the Conqueror? He's gotta be. He's gotta be. Searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention. My property. Mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. And he's angry for a reason. Because his position of power comes from his Securitrons. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Howdy, hmm. partner. Welcome to New Vegas. Well, that platinum chip you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary into dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. Mm. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer range. And a rapid fire Robots are taking over the planet, bro. I'm letting y'all know. Y'all be prepared, all right? Your iPhone going yeah. grow Benny legs. basically blew your head off because the, the giant Securitron army is currently running <laughs> Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. And that's not even the juiciest part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the Platinum mm. Chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man mm. is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't That's mean tough. anything anymore, but he is literally a yes man. But hey, not my fault I can't say no. I love this guy because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of Vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading up to the final showdown for all the Mojave marbles at Hoover Dam. We shall see how brave let's go, let's you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam. Your body facing west so you may watch your world die. On one side, you've got the New California Republic, or NCR, representing old world values like democracy, mm. taxes, and the rule of law, but I'ma keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them without I've never played this game, I've never heard of this are, game until today. Especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here. And it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. They are such chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. My man I'm loading the whole clip into that boy. Me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. <laughs> if the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub-brick intelligence. <laughs> like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR oh, that's they fault, suckling then. my teats. That's the, and it feels that's they so fault. good. <laughs> The Legion, on the other hand, absolutely based, and the shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, did the Legion ever crush the NCR? They just... Get some! <laughs> Bro, ain't no way 
somebody in a sport a suit is running around busting down people with AR-15s. Ain't no way. Oh man. You like that? But wait, don't they propagate slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. 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 Yes, but if there's one thing that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind of slavery. So when I say Awe, you say... True to Kaisar. As evil as they may be, at least they're not pretending like the NCR is. Talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Oh. That's the kind of act the non-verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the Legion might be a little intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either because Mr. House is always an option a very corporate tyrannical no. option to hand the we keys to the Mojave him, but I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers it's not so bad my army will do what an army does best defend territory from invaders and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. And before you say, you can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to. Observe. <laughs> How did I lose car? I know that's not Mr. House, bruh. That's not Mr. House. My man got us in here fighting Genova, bruh. <laughs> in the middle of the Shinra building. This is Genova, bruh. Come on, man. Mr. House, you got to go, brother. You got to go. Arma for that? He was already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter which path you take, you're forced to familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminated for their lack in cooperation. If you like no a tribe, way. leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately named boomers because they're terrified of anything foreign to them, labeling outsiders as savages and you gotta make it through an artillery barrage if you even want to talk to them. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. Can I just say, this is by far the most accurate artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? <laughs> I didn't run Price through all that artillery facts. to hear your stupid question. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. Yes, was young time. Pete. Burning people with flamethrowers. Neat. Exactly. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate mm. or don't exterminate, because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make <laughs> your dreams come true. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety running high explosive ordinance upon ignorant savages. Can you dial it back this, on that this, word? This Anytime okay he says a, savages, a demon. Just go, savages. The great cons are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents. The cons are just, they're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you can Terrible. deal with them diplomatically to win their favor, but uh, I've never tried that option. <laughs> 22%, can I hit that? Oh, I can hit that. You know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho right now. <laughs> Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god-tier steel suit. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the way, if you think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their well, bunker self-destruct like sequence that, once you've got the training in your hands, but... Yoink! Uh, yoink! I'll take that. Are you sure iOS you would 15. like to initiate the self weird? Yes. You can kill me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. <laughs> 
good. That's Our one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the strip. So even if you already know... You I ain't gonna lie, this game look a little lit, bruh. Okay? I've been convinced. As soon as my man shot him in the head and his arms fell off. I've been locked in. You want them exterminated? You at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Not just because they kill hookers, not because they're stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole up. I ain't gonna lie, it looked like he was doing so something totally different. All right, I thought I thought I was gonna have to, yeah, bl blur the video, bro, but <laughs> he was still in the book. What the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. And I will. Take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? Better Just lower like your that, tone in, my brother. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. <laughs> I guess we are shooting Kachino. Oh no. The White Glove Society at the Ultralux are by far the worst liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, we're not cannibals, we swear. You better believe they eat people. For the oh, last God, time, boy. the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. You know, once I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by they saying those words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's just too perfect to pass up. We engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. It gets even better once you press them on it, like, why do so many people disappear while staying at your hotel? And they're like, what? We hired a private investigator to solve that mystery. Go <laughs> ask him about it. And he's dead in his room. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. Oh, really? Y'all killed him. <laughs> Yo, holy shit, he did! <laughs> and the White Glove Society sends a bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight a man in power armor. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Their latest victim is the son With of this rancher named Heck too, Gunderson, and he is definitely worth rescuing in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin fusion cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Keep talking sh it's crazy because there's people who actually think like that, bro. Y'all think I'm lying. I promise. Watch my cringe comps, all right? Go type in big holla cringe comp. Watch the videos. Shit, Philippe. Shit. <laughs> Not only because you get to feel the adrenaline rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. No, run away, kid. Run away. Fuck, I got the kid. Not only because you That's can tough. punch Marjorie's stupid head <laughs> off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. What the fuck? How does she have such a strong head? <laughs> oh, shit. Degenerates Jesus. like you belong on <laughs> But because once you do get him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the New Vegas Strip. Ah! Oh shit, you like that? You gotta get him up out of here, bro. Nailed him. Well, that <laughs> does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hank Gunderson long as they live. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> Hell, there are even tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. <laughs> The she only annoying like part about the fiends boy. are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves most of the time. 
Did he just trigger his own trap? Oh, you f- Pam is an L, boy. An L. Oh, God. Oh, God. She definitely tripped it. She definitely- It's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like, one time I triggered a trap, and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes once you leave it, so no matter how long I spent outside, that grenade was still one second away from exploding on the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves anytime you enter a building, so I was now auto-saved right inside that building with a grenade about to explode, which eventually <laughs> formed an infinite loop of dying to a grenade, loading the autosave, and dying to that same grenade. And over, and over, and over again for all of eternity. Going back inside? Broken. All good? All good. Oh, 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 oh shit. What happens if I load, though? Wait, what happens when I load? Oh, the same shit's gonna happen forever now. Ain't no way, Because bro. it auto loads the autosave from the doorway. Fuck, man, it's gonna go on forever. Speaking of explosions, I don't hate the powder gangers, but for some reason they hate me. Like, their alliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all three of them just threw dynamite at me. <laughs> they did. Okay, so we got a dead caravanner, we got a dead powder ganger, and what's he gonna say? Damn, running low on smokes again. <laughs> That's the most powder ganger answer I've ever heard. The only group I didn't oh, bulldoze man. on site were the kings, because you can't do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. No matter how man, you Johnny choose to Cash, handle the tribes boy. or who you choose to back in the Battle of Hoover Dam, the presidential assassination quest will always be funny. Because if you're back in the NCR, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey, God, that, that fucking scared me, dude. Uh, did that ranger just get blasted off that tower? Um, um. <laughs> Quick save, I just want to see if he's gonna take his head off. Oh fuck, he got Oswald. <laughs> Those rangers don't give a sh Hey look, that's the second one. That's the second one. <laughs> Shit, they're just standing there. Look at them. Um, oh. um, um. We're not gonna get away with it this time, you sneaky piece of shit. Oh, what? <laughs> what? My man turned to Slender Man. Boy. What? <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, get down! What the fuck? I think his legs got stuck in the tower, and his torso just didn't want to be there anymore. Uh, should I? Should I call this in or just let it grow free? I actually don't know if he's oh, any, like any more much time, threat man. any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. He's on the murder bird. Oh, you son of a bitch! The game was rigged from the start! This dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick saved, it quick loaded, and he's still here. It was around this time that I realized That's siding crazy. with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve to have your president vaporized. Do they care? Don't even care that I'm whipping out a missile launcher right in front of the fucking president. God damn. You dispatched President Kimball with real skill. Ah, uh, yes, right real skill. My man missile pulled a rocket launcher, launcher out right a. in front of him. <laughs> the sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache induced rage makes his cause worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God! Damn it! I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to. Oh, oh, God damn it! Fuck this! I'm going to lie down. If you interfere with me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> we will talk later. Ah, oh, wait. True to Kaiser. It's not, it's not a full strength chapter, mind you. You think I won't the get you? Gets... Man, it's bugging. Yes. Oh. The profligates. <laughs> <laughs> but because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the Wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. Oh no. Since you haven't pissed yourself, 
I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. You've got three days to you improve your reputation scary. with the NCR or we come for you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure. You got it. I'll stop working for Kaiser. Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. The DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long, boy so. was it ever worth it. <laughs> ah, damn it. Ambush? Ambush? Can I even... Can I even prevent this? Oh, shit. I don't think I can stop this. Yeah, I don't think I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. I don't know how I hit on 20. What the fuck? Yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it. Fuck you. I'd highly recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically weaponized racism, or at the very least a racism buff, and I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. What is that damage? Auslander Zuka, Joshua Graham. You're too dumb to speak my language. You're too dumb to talk to me. Get lost. Shice. Speaking of Joshua Graham, that's Kaisar's former right-hand man that lost the first battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. Hold up. So you lose the fight, and then your own people say, "Hey, listen. Since you since you didn't lead us to victory, we're gonna kill you. Not like you could help get better. Try again." They just gonna kill you and throw you. That's crazy. Craziness. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. His crispy ass is the best character in all of New Vegas, and airing out an entire canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff <laughs> is some of the most fun I've ever had. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no mistake about why work. we are here. This is an extermination. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. <laughs> you at Syracuse. Kuna man mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whatever. Josh will put a cap in general gobbledygook here. Ah! And once I found my Josh will put a cap in general gobbledygook here. My man looked like uh, uh what was his name? Dine, Dane and uh Barrett, you know what I'm saying? He he got a gun grafted onto his arm, which is ironic because Barrett killed his homie. You know what I'm saying? Fell into a pit. Ooh, the story, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nostalgia. And once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final phase of the plan. You already know what the fuck about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like, you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell this is easier. So much easier than taking on the league. Jesus, well... Apart from that little bit Stop. of friendly fire. This honestly feels like a different difficulty. Like, these rangers fucking suck. <laughs> Did I, like, drop down to very easy? What is this? That's I'm crazy. sorry, ranger, but it's... It's a wrap for you. <laughs> all I'm gonna keep it a They're stack, trooper. It's not safe for you right now. That's right. Fuck you and your fake power armor. That shit is whack. It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Going up Gross. against the Legion <laughs> is a whole different ball game. That shit is tricky. I mean, not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out abusing the anti-material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the homie. Y'all ever get so high on a drug that your bullets start doing more damage? I just <laughs> love that. Best feature of this game. Drug that your bullets start doing more damage. I just love. Bro, how they put I'm Dante in this game, bro? That's I'm Dante, bro. My man's in Fallout New Vegas. Look at you. That best feature of this game. 
<laughs> Jesus. But still, fighting alongside oh, the Legion man. is so much more fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Courier yeah, walk the wasteland are. fuck? Would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Chances are pretty good? Just vaporized four rangers. Oh, this should be good. Oh, Shut yeah. the fuck up. The highlight for me, Jesus. beyond boomers <laughs> dropping high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. You know what I stand corrected? That little kid Pete talking about raining high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages? I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast away the enemy you're engaging and nothing against the mysterious a stranger, but misfortune cannot be topped. And crippling someone will always be fun. It will never go. Oh, well, I guess misfortune's just gonna steal. The show. Frag rounds. I'm missing. I'm missing all of those. All oh, misfortune. <laughs> it goes so far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um, okay. Clap. It seems like a weird place to- Oh, the serious stranger, yeehaw, chuckle fuck. In the closet of all places. In the fucking closet. I still feel like the 40 mil kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune, that's tight. <laughs> what? Where did that dude's fucking body go? <laughs> Disappear, boy. There she is again, and holy shit. She is so much better than Mysterious Stranger, it's not even She's funny. A demon. She's like a walking artillery piece. Come on out, <laughs> Oliver. Hold on, my man got the invisibility oh, that's cloak from. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Harry Potter? Attack criticals are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking damage. God, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the NCR. I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. Miss Force is just gonna do the work for me. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still doesn't have a lot of damage. Is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? Yeah, that's wild. This shit broken? Is three in a row possible? Could the Well, never mind. Never mind. Degenerates <laughs> like you belong on a cross. I had to, it's the last dude. It's the last dude. And that's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover Dam. God willing, Kaiser we'll does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. This slaughter pleases me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't forget to take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. Just sold a bunch of human flesh to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take a nap in their bed. Sips from canteen. God, dude, you take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 kit. Oh, so this is the game that that You Lost Karma thing comes from in Dez 2 Flies videos? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Dude, blows up Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Take sip from trusty Vault 13 kit. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I have been chugging out of this sink for the past 40 seconds to not waste a stim pack. And what am I doing while I'm chugging out of a sink? I'm taking a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. And that's Terrible. about it. That's all I got to say. A final fuck the NCR for being pedantic pieces of shit. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And may Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man is also a solid option, but I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It, it was, was fun. fun. <laughs> Take care.
New Vegas. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Cyberpunk 2077 because I originally was gonna make a video on that, but then I was like, oh, this is a broken fucking piece of trash. I should probably <laughs> check out who did this the right way, and Fallout New Vegas is something. Did they ever fix Cyberpunk? I remember when Cyberpunk dropped, everybody was like, this is the new game. This is the one. It's taking over. RIP Grand Theft Auto. You out of here. I heard everybody's game crashing for like two weeks. And I never heard of that game again, bro. That's tough. <laughs> Incredible. I'm not going to hit you with any of the game critic lines, but the story is cash. The characters are cash to the point that I almost cried at some of the voice lines. Like Joshua Graham's story is so damn inspiring for a fucking fictional character. Oh my God. Please play this game, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm going to end it there. I really am going to cross my fingers and hope this video was not demonetized and age restricted like the last Fallout <laughs> video because I did so much fucking psycho and psycho jet that it actually thought I was, I don't know, recommend ending the use of hard drugs. <laughs> and before I go, if you think the death claws are scarier than Cazadors, degenerates like you belong on a cross. Yo, listen. The banger from the Russian Badger. Listen. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I like playing multiplayer games. I want to play games with the gang. You know what I'm saying? The squad, the fam. That's why we got enlisted. You know what I'm saying? And left for dead. But I might have to play this, all right? I haven't played like a story, story, dang, why, why my green screen messing up? I ain't played a story game in a minute, though. Besides uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, I played that, you know what I'm saying? Had to play that. But other than that, I haven't played any, um, like, storyline games in a very long time. So this might be my my entry back into the, the that realm. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down below. Listen, if y'all, you know what I'm saying, made it to the end of this video, go ahead and leave the clap emojis down below. You know what I'm saying? Use a real one. This was a pretty decently long video, and you watched it. I appreciate that. But until next time, we out of here.